Hi Bison, it's Miss Katie. I miss you guys a lot. I miss seeing you every day in our Bison room. So I thought I would come on here and make a video of me reading a story for you guys. So today I'm gonna read one of my favorite stories and one that we know really well as a class. So you can read along with me at home, okay? We are going to read Caps for Sale, a tale of a peddler, some monkeys, and their monkey business. I think you remember when we did a book study of this one, so help me out. Once there was a peddler who sold caps, but he was not like an ordinary peddler, carrying his wares on his back, he carried them on top of his head. First he had his own checkered cap, and then a bunch of gray caps, and then a bunch of brown caps, and then a bunch of blue caps, and on the very top, a bunch of red caps. He walked up and down the street, holding himself very straight, so as not to upset his caps. As he went along, he called out, caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. One morning, he couldn't sell any caps. He walked up the street and he walked down the street calling, caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. But nobody wanted any caps that morning. Nobody even wanted a red cap. He began to feel hungry, but he had no money for food. I think I'll go for a walk in the country, said he, and he walked out of town slowly, slowly, so as not to upset his cap. He walked for a long time until he came to a great big tree. That's a nice place for a rest, thought he. <clears throat> and he sat down very slowly under the tree and leaned back little by little against the tree trunk so as not to disturb the caps on his head. And then he put up his hand to feel if they were straight. First his own checked cap, and then the gray caps, and then the brown caps, and then the blue caps, and the red caps on the very top. They were all there, so he went to sleep. He slept for a very long time. When he woke up, ugh, he was refreshed and rested. But before standing up, he fell with his hand to make sure his caps were in the right place. <gasps> all he felt was his own checkered cap. He looked to the right of him. No caps. He looked to the left of him, no caps. He looked in back of him, no caps. He looked behind the tree, no caps. And then he looked up into the tree. And what do you think he saw? On every branch sat a monkey. And on every monkey was a gray, or a brown, or a blue, or a red, cap. The peddler looked at the monkeys. The monkeys looked at the peddler. He didn't know what to do. Finally, he spoke to them. You monkeys, you, he said, shaking his finger at them. You give me back my caps. But the monkeys only shook their fingers back at him and said, tee, tee, tee. <clears throat> This made the peddler angry. So he shook both hands at them and he said, you monkeys, you, you give me back my caps. But the monkeys only shook both their hands back at him and said, tee, 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 tee. Well, now he felt quite angry and he stamped his foot and he said, you monkeys, you, you give me back my caps. But the monkeys only stamped their feet back at him and said, Tee, 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 tee. By this time, the peddler was really very, very angry. He stomped both his feet and shouted, You monkeys, you, you give me back my caps. But the monkeys only stamped both their feet back at him and shouted, Tee, tee, tee. Last, he became so angry that he pulled off his own cap and threw it on the ground and began to walk away. But then, each monkey pulled off his cap 
and all the gray caps and all the brown caps and all the blue caps and all the red caps came flying down out of the tree. So the peddler picked up his caps and put them back on his head. First his own checkered cap and then the gray caps and then the blue caps and then the red caps on the very top. And slowly, slowly, he walked back into town calling, Caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. And that's the end of the story, Caps for Sale. Thanks for listening to the story. I went to the bison classroom and got a whole stack of books. So I will read a story to you again tomorrow. Have fun at home, guys. I miss you.